My name is Mustafa Dehkani. I'm doing uh, my PhD here at Baipriya and Monash University. So my project is based basically on treatment of water in a different way. So in all treatment processes, you can see that they are using membrane or filters to treat the water. But here I'm trying to treat organic pollutions, which are persistent to environmental degradation. My project is basically to use cellulose and why I'm using cellulose knife nanofiber or cellulose because it's abundant, it's biodegradable and it's easily renewable. In other words, it's a green material and if I can use a green material to do the degradation of organic pollutions in water, it would be even better. I started with batch reactors to do the degradation. I prepared the catalyst and put it in a batch reactor and then used both UV light and sunlight to do the degradation. However, I saw the sunlight has better efficiency and I uh, was thinking, how can I do to improve it? it? It came to my mind to make a sun flow degradation setup that I can use sun as, the, as a cheap uh, resource of UV light and energy. We use metal in blue as a model of organic pollutions and it will pass through this pump and uh, through the lines here and we have the catalyst so after it's getting degraded, get degraded and the color is changing and at the end of the line we will have a pure and uh, colorless water which is being tested and there is no organic pollution. At the moment, we are talking to the industry. I'm trying to do some scaling up to see if it's possible to use this setup for uh, industries, setup that is cheap to be produced uh, and easy to be used. I'm using a material that is biodegradable and reusable and renewable, so it's a material that can be named as a green material. Nanocellulose stands as a breakthrough material for organic pollutant degradation and water purification. 